A while back, I got sent this golf club and there's a big reason why I'm yet to test it. To be fair, it seems a little bit wrong, but is it so wrong it could be right? Let's do it and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I hope you're all safe, I hope you're all incredibly well, and I hope you're all enjoying getting back out on the golf course. In today's video, we are testing the FGX putter, and it's, um, I mean, it looks really good, but it's really long. You see guys, in today's video, we are at Waterfront Golf Club, the home of Chris Dennis, who we use for a lot of our putting and short game tests and it's fair to say he's a little bit of an expert so i want his opinion i know you guys want my opinion you also want chris's opinion that is why we have waited so long to test this club you may have seen other tests on this on youtube as well from different pros different reviewers because i know that the guys have been keen to send these out to a lot of us guys and i've purposely not watched any of them during lockdown because i wanted my kind of fresh opinion and i know chris is going to have his fresh opinion so how can this putter which is pretty much the same length, we'll take that, which is pretty much the same length of my six iron. How can it possibly work? Surely this goes against everything that you ever got told for putting. Eyes over the ball, nice straight back, straight through motion, if you can, as close to that as possible, even though it can never really happen. Because let's say I was to put with my six iron, obviously I'm going to have to move the club more around myself on an arc and then square that face up. So really the only difference in this club is, well, the loft. I guess. And you see guys, as you'll know on my channel, I am quite open-minded for product, especially kind of putters, wedges, grooves, golf balls, tee pegs. And I think in the golfing world, you have to be. I saw a comment the other day on one of my videos and it said, they are trying to solve a problem that's not there. Now for me, if we start only trying to solve problems, innovation is going to die. I think it doesn't have to be a problem to try and fix it. If it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. But if we'd have said that, imagine what we wouldn't have. I'd think of loads of technical ideas now, but um, for all eluded me, but there must be some. Elevators, escalators, the stairs weren't broken, but we're trying to fix them. We got elevators and escalators. You kind of see where I'm trying to go with that. So another huge talking point, obviously with the length being so long, it's not a chest putter, it's not a belly putter. It does sit at a kind of normal angle. The line angle of this putter is 56 degrees as opposed to around 70 degrees that you would get with a normal putter. And I must say, I have tested this a little bit inside. You may have watched the video where I hit, oh, that was a block. You may have watched the video where I hit 14 different club manufacturers and this putter, oh, and this putter was the putter that I integrated into that bag because I don't know of any other FGX golf clubs. And if you do, then hit those comments below, but I certainly don't. So guys, you may be wondering where Chris is because I know we're here at Waterfront, the home of Chris, the putting specialist. And to be fair, I'm wondering where he is too. Um, oh, here he is. Living the dream. Living the Vila Loca, how are you? Yourself. It's, we have filmed another video already this morning, so I don't know why we feel we have to do that. But uh, basically Chris has gone to get wipes because obviously we can't health and safety. So I've had a bit of a put. We are going to do a bit of a challenge at the end of this, Chris, but I've not told you anything about this, have I? No, nope. I've not seen it or seen it's a bit longer on oh. the way down because it's nearly taller than James. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Right, Chris, so 56 degree lie angle. What? Normal's around 71. Oh, I said 70. Was I wrong? Yeah, okay. Somewhere different. A degree's a degree, isn't it, mate? I'll get bold. It's all right. Got me old. Oh, I'll, I'd pass you these, but we're not allowed. I think you need the exercise anyway. Yeah, I do. Don't any patience. Although you can lose weight, I can't get taller, can I? That's <laughs> right. Well, you never know. So, I'm quite open-minded to stuff like this, and I had a yeah. feeling that you wouldn't be but I want you to give us your brutally honest opinion. What, what would you do if a player turned up to you, um, not necessarily a tall player, because we know that you, you teach kind of all standards, but any kind of player, would you feel as though they've almost given up on standard putting? Yeah, I'd tell them to have a quiet word with themselves. <laughs> no, I wouldn't really. I mean, it's one of those, it's like people are going to have, I see people come with the arm lock putters now, the longer ones. Some still obviously use the broom handle, not many anymore, but... Yeah, because you can't lock it now, can you? Still with the, with the belly putter they do. Obviously with this angle, it all depends. I mean, I'm, I'm open to things as long as the numbers are right. Yeah. I, I wouldn't go to this just as a, obviously a scapegoat, but 
I mean, you know, what about if we said, if I'm going to let you hit, hit these three, then I've got a, po a point for you. It feels soft. Yeah, it does. It feels good, actually, as a putter. You know the putter head, the style? I love it. Mm. Not very bad. I could go low. Pace is good. Ooh. So what if we said now, so similar to Bryson DeChambeau's argument of one club length yep. and they kind of go on that that can work really well for beginners, don't they? Because obviously one length you learn one thing. Yep. That's the length of a six iron or my six iron anyway. Yep. So surely if you're not teaching someone another posture and you're not teaching them a totally different movement, because yep. you have to have arc in this, don't you? There's no way on God's earth you could try and get no. this squarer. Well, it gets rid of the dreaders straight back, straight through. I've mentioned that already. I said some people try and do that. Yep. Is that impossible? Well, I mean, if you're vertical, you can get it to go relatively straight. But then if that was vertical, check that line angle out. It's not going to work, mate, is it? Might not strike it the best. You might not strike it the best. So, Chris, one of the big factors here, I'm going to get the wipes ready because, um, obviously, we have to be a bit kind of mm. careful now, don't we? One of the big things that the guys are saying about this putter is it can help you square the face up because it's going to have kind of one solid arc movement, obviously yep. depending on how tall you are, your arc will be different to my arc, won't it? Yep, and depending on your posture. So what you have to do, you have to stand taller to it, yep. as you, you do immediately. So if you stand with that putter and you try and get a normal posture, get a normal posture for that putter with me, Chris. All of a sudden that doesn't sit um, like it should do, does it? No, so the toe gets up, the shaft gets here, and then there's obviously going to be a lot of rotation. Oh, oh Damien. Damien. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one thing which, Yes, the guys say it can be easier to square the club face up, but it entirely depends on ball position, yep. entirely depends on setup, on stance, and on a few other, a few other things as well. Let's have a competition with this, Chris, because I'm quite interested to see how you do with it. We're going to do the drill that we did actually on short game Saturdays. Yep. So if you watched the video this Saturday, not only will you have seen Chris's luminous orange shirt, but you've seen the drill I gave us for distance control. I want to see how good we are at distance control with this putter. Five balls, we'll use this hole because then I ain't gonna move the camera and it's a lot easier. Yeah. Um, and I'll put my six iron behind the hole because it's the same length as the putter. Can't argue with that, Chris, can we? Yeah. I'm gonna give you a smaller area as well this time. Ooh. Is that fair? Uh, that's fair, yeah. So one thing I've noticed here is obviously because your eyes aren't over the ball, I almost, you couldn't just aim it off the bat. You know these guys who kind of stand there and just aim it? Yeah, so you, it's hard to see straight. So again, your eyes are a different level now to the golf ball. You know, when they get over the ball, sometimes you can see the line a bit better. So for some that might be off putting. Um, let's give it a go. Solid. Oof. Tell you what, it's grazed the hole three times. Get it in the bag, son. Oh, that's for eight. <laughs> it's you two. So I think you could even get further away from that, Chris. I think you're almost stood trying to stand, you know, a, a more standard posture. Yeah, one thing I think, Chris, here, before the SD card rudely interrupted us, yeah. is you could almost get, you could almost go to the party a little bit more, you know, like buy into it a little bit more, stand a bit further away. Yeah. But then I think if, it, if you are, if you have been a standard putter all your life, you're going to struggle to maybe buy into it a little bit, unless you've had struggles. Well, again, it, it proves a point there. I haven't probably stood as far enough away, but I've still had results. So yeah. it's like any putter, if, if we can get That it, ball wasn't a result, was it? I don't know where that the was. The far right one. Where, where's that come from? It must have just been left there. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> um, it's more like my driver. Um, <laughs> so you can see that I've not stood probably as far away as I could, but I could still get that ball to go in. I've hold two and the others were pretty much just behind the hole and the six iron. So it's like any putter. We can, if you're set up and your stroke's good, you can pretty much probably use any putter. So this might not fit, it might just be again, it, it could be a fad. Mm -hmm. Someone might like it, it might improve your stroke. Again, you got to see numbers from that. I've putted well with that. I don't think it felt any bad, it didn't feel bad, it felt fine, it felt nice, it came off nice and I've hold a few putts, so... Much I'm... more open-minded than I thought you'd be. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put it in the bag, but... I'll tell you what, guys, so I'm going to leave this putter with Chris after this video, and you have a system called Capto, don't you? Yeah. Can I get that a bit more? There we go. You have a system called Cap, that's better, isn't it? 
miles better and we're showing that we're it's keeping safe there, as well. Yeah. I think it is, mate, yeah. So if you want to see numbers on this compared to a normal putter, go over and check out Chris's channel. Also like this video and just comment below Chris. Um, I don't know why, maybe orange. Orange. Orange, because the waterfront colours. Yep. There. Um, my go, I think. Yep, your go, let's have a look. On, on, off. And then give it a good old rub down. And then some on your hands after. Thank you ever so much. Right, it's my turn, and I'm gonna try and do this without lining the ball up. That's one of the big things which I think you probably do have to do with this putter, because obviously if you were to stand there, how would that look? Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get the finest strike. No. It looks quite good. Is that gonna go left on the loft? It should do a little bit, shouldn't it? Tiny bit. So I'm gonna set the putter flat to the ground. I'm gonna stand a little bit further away than Chris was there, even though I'm shorter than Chris. Go on. You can't say that. <laughs> right, and then I'm just going to move the putter. It's designed for more of a kind of rotational move there. So that's one. Did you make one? You made one, didn't you? Made two. And really, it goes against everything that you would kind of learn, really, doesn't it, Chris? About, I mean, imagine a putter moving in there and then moving around and then going in. It could be the future, actually. I'm not sure about that. Another one. Oh. Tell you what. Best I've ever seen in I did say at the beginning of this video, is it so wrong? It could be right. And I think it potentially could. Beautiful. No. Same. I didn't want to. I think it's a bit. It's a lovely. Bit of you, that. It is a bit of me, yeah. Must say as well, it's a lovely kind of graphite shaft as well. You probably I mentioned that, so. You're right. No, I'll <laughs> just with that. So guys, that is the FGX putter. Um, so wrong it could be right. I think I've proved there that's four out of five. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I quite enjoyed that. I might do a bit more testing with it. I am going to leave it with Chris. I'll let him sanitize it. Well, you can bring it in, drop it off after. I'll just, I'll leave it there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Massively hope you have enjoyed that. If you do want to see the numbers on this putter, make sure you go check out Chris's channel. Also, if you want to see more about this drill, check out the video we put on on Saturday for the Short Game Saturday series. You get to see Chris in that shirt again. So, oh, you better believe it. Guys, thanks once again. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that content. And I very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>